distinguished guests. Firstly, our committee would like to thank the attacking committee and all participants of the event for being such sports. They have brought many interesting points up, and we can therefore be almost absolutely sure that everyone understands our proposition. An old Czech proverb says that repetition is the mother of knowledge, and therefore we cannot stress the importance of a better connection between the labour market and education enough. Numerous, other, numerous points have aroused, be it flexibility or teacher shortages. Our system and our proposition, however, was designed to be flexible and attractive for teachers. Some people also thought that the internship's time is too long. We, however, believe in the nobility and importance of the teacher profession and also believe that long training is more than necessary. Numerous fixes. One short response. Kindness to the pupils has been a policy of ours for decades. The results being the terrible economic nightmares we are facing now. Uh, this polemics this polemic may bring us to the last point. How can you take all the benefits from people? Echoed through the hallways of this wonderful building for the past hour, creating a grey curtain of despair, which can now be raised because of this resolution. We do not intend to make people starve. We intend to motivate them in their attempt to improve their standards of living. And we can be completely sure or I hope we can be completely sure that among our fellow delegates there is no one who would disagree with this ideal. After an hour full of questions, it is up to you all to ask a question yourselves. Do I really care about youth unemployment? And if the answer is yes, there is nothing better than to vote in favour. Do I like beer? And again, should the repository be positive, do vote in favour. We came here to re-employ European youth, and if you follow the same quest, at least in your dreams, then you should not doubt your vote a minute. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Before we move into voting procedures, I'd like to ask the chairs, when they're calling out the votes, to do it as following. First, they have to call the name of their committee, for instance, the Committee on Constitution.